Hi, welcome back to the Vector M full Termax course. In our last video, we looked at the basics of Termax and explored some fundamental navigational commands. Today, we'll be taking it up a notch by diving into more advanced file management commands. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell. Termax, as a Linux emulator for Android, adheres to a standard Linux file hierarchy. At the top of the hierarchy, the root directory contains critical system files and directories. You will need to root your phone to access this. Each user in Termax is designated a home directory. This is the standing point for each terminal session. The tilde is a shorthand for the current user's home directory. The absolute path to this is data slash data slash com dot termax slash files slash home. This is located in your Android folder. External storage directories reside under the storage directory. Explore external SD cards and other storage devices in this location. Understanding this structure is very important as we dive into file management because it allows you to know where you are. Now let's move into the storage directory using the cd command. Once inside, let's create a new folder using the make directory command. Remember, cd takes you back one level in the directory structure. Creating files in Termax is easy. The touch command followed by a file name does the trick. To create multiple files, just separate the file names with spaces. Now we can use MV and CP to move or copy files to different directories. If you lose a file, you can use find followed by the file name to locate it. And finally, to destroy a file, we can use the rm command. To edit files in Termax, we use nano. Simply type nano followed by the file name. Add some text into it. Hit Ctrl plus X and then Y to save the file. To take a peek into the file's contents, use the cat command. Our terminal is now cluttered, but we can use clear to erase everything. And then clutter it again by using history to show us every command that we've used so far. The echo command lets you print messages to the screen. If a command perplexes you, Add the help flag to the command to get a handy guide on how to use it. To download the file from the internet, we can use the wget command followed by the URL of the file. Curl displays the calendar. We can use this to look into the past or look into the future by specifying the month and the year. Speaking of the future, we will look at how to download packages in Termax in the next video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.